little bit of foliage. Those are all drizzles, but done with like a um, an eight, a t uh, 12, 16, and then I've caught some of them down and others I've left freestanding. So it looks like kelp or seaweed. Here you can see it done, I think it was on a teddy bear needle and I used a very, very thick wool. That's number, f oh, that, well that's not drizzle. But you can, all my sheep are done with the drizzle stitch and you can, um, you vary the length to get as shaggy a sheep or as closely shorn a sheep as you want. Shorn a sheep. <laughs> okay, so up, back in, just next to where you came up. So like the French knot, not in the same hole, you can see I've got one strand of the fabric between. Pull the thread out of your needle. So this is the complete opposite. I've got the needle trapped behind my fingers at the back, so it's like a rod on top and it's firm. And then I'm going to cast on, on the back end of the needle. Again, it doesn't matter whether it's right-handed or left-handed. So you just keep on casting on until, depending on what you're creating, you've got your drizzle. I will do quite a few here and then explain to you how I've caught the rows down. So you can see how you can build it up. So I've probably got about 20 to 25 wraps on that. That's enough. Then you've got to re-thread it. There. And then pull it through. Just make sure you put the, your finger in that loop so that it doesn't knot back on itself. And then you can see you've got your loose drizzle. So what I did then for the rows was I just fiddled and laid it down and couched it into position so that I got a little 3D rose. You can take an, a, a, another needle afterwards and do it or catch it down at the same time. I'm just going to do a little catching stitch. Can you see how it, it almost automatically forms a little rose for you? I think I'm actually too far away, sorry, when you're filming me. Okay, so if I get that first one so, closer. Uh, I'm a little lost here when you, at, at the last part, so um, when you put the needle back into it, mm -hmm. or you just pull the drizzle up from the needle. I re-threaded the needle and took the thread through to the back. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just catching this into place to make a little rose. Okay. That's just a bit of a fiddle and a faff. <laughs> and on the scissor keep, which of the methods did you use? This one. But I've used the other methods on, on different roses. You look at all my work and decide what you like doing. But play with the drizzle first. So come up. This thread's a little bit short. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's why it's slipping out of the... So with your, your cast on and your drizzles, I'll say it again. Use a longer, th slightly longer thread. Okay. Okay. So I'll just get that into position there. Couch it down. And voila. Well, it's, it's just a bit of an artistic rose more than anything else. Mm -hmm. It's a Monet rose. 